it sounded pretty unlikely. A transport festival for commercial vehicles in a seaside resort in May when the town's surrounded by the sea on three sides. Would anybody come? Well, how wrong could you be? This is Clandidno and we've forgotten some of the attractions that would bring vehicles. The Great Hall, notorious as one of the most demanding bus routes in the country. Here's one of the specialised vehicles built many years ago, actually celebrating its birthday. And it's challenges like this that bring vehicles a long way. A 13 hour drive in that case. A very well run event this, the gates were stewarded, so traffic was very efficiently sorted from visitors. Jeff Thomas here being presented with a card in the breakfast, which is the administration headquarters of the event. He's the moving spirit that's got the Dennis toast rack that's come back. It's uh, the Shara that's been very much the characteristic vehicle of the Great Orm. He's been responsible for encouraging this uh, vehicle to come back each year and repeat the climb. Just getting ready for the, the journey back. The specification from Dennis's was to build a vehicle that could stand the relentless climbing. And of course, a vehicle that is specified for climbing the Orm has probably not got the right gearing for long distance running. So back to Southampton, that's a 12 hour run for them. They see that moving towards them. <laughs> you see that coming out of a filling station. <laughs> you think you're suffering from a time warp, wouldn't you? Delightful vehicle. It's always nice to see a vehicle back in its home environment. But of course, it wasn't just the transport festival going on, there was a fair down in the centre of town and actually because all these events, they're all independent, but they all add to the experience of spending time in town, so the net result is it brings visitors in in a slacker time of the year, and that's how it should be. And it's this hospitality industry that ensures that everybody can do their own thing, and enjoy the town. Who wants an arena when you can parade around town instead? <laughs> There's entertainment out on the seafront as well. It's almost a style of seaside you've forgotten exists. The well manicured lawns and gardens smartly painted houses, the hotels and accommodation.